have Gigi here live, and and whoever is not able to come in, we we're recording here, so now you can see the lovely showroom and get to see a little bit what I do with my health coaching. So what I do, um, I'm a certified holistic health coach at Redefine Health Diets, and what I love doing is I love being able to transform your favorite unhealthy recipes into a lot healthier, lighter meals. So that way you get to enjoy all of your favorite meals without feeling deprived. So one, one item I have here is I'm gonna be making you guys some protein powered energy bites. So if you really want a little extra kick after your workout, you want a quick little breakfast, or you just wanna have something for a dessert that doesn't necessarily have sugar in it, then this is perfect for you. So that way you're feeling great, you have a lot of energy with the food, and it just really helps you overall just feel fantastic. So I have all the ingredients laid out here, so I'm just gonna show you how to make it. And then the best part is, it doesn't take very long. So for those of you who are really busy, that's perfect, because then you get to have this recipe within like less than 10 minutes. So here, I'm gonna show you how to cook this. So the first thing you do is have one cup of almond flour, yeah! So we're just gonna put everything in the bowl. So here's one cup of almond flour. I already put everything together. Then next, you put in that one packet of protein powder. So I know a lot of people like to do that. They have protein shakes in the morning. So this is a great way to have something else besides just your typical shake. So I have a Renda shake. I love it because it has pea protein, which is great for people that have a lot of inflammation. Because a lot of protein powders out there have whey, so why not use something that that's a lot less harsh on your belly, and that way it'll so there is a lot better. Evelyn Carter is watching. Yay! Hello! That's okay. Um, whoever is watching, I'll just read the comments at the end of the video because I can't see it right now, which is no problem at all. So the next thing that we're going to put in here is two tablespoons of cacao powder and then a little bit more for rolling at the end. So, I think this one. How much, how much oh, yeah, grams. definitely. There's the cacao powder. Next, we're going to put in. Awesome. I'm so glad I you like, like everything those. that's in here. Perfect. And two tablespoons grams. of maple syrup is the next ingredient. So, this is great because it's all sugar free. So, I know a lot of people after the holidays, they had their, their pies and their cakes, and it's all delicious. And now you can have a little something lighter without all of the sugar in there. So a little secret ingredient, I added some cinnamon because cinnamon's amazing. So if you're watching, get my little Duxler secret is I love adding cinnamon to all of my baking. And I might or, or might not put it on the recipe list, but then again, mm. that's what we do as chefs. A little, little secret. <laughs> the next ingredient is one fourth cup of nut butter. Um, you can pretty much do any one you want. So peanut butter, almond butter, cashew butter, whatever you want, pretty much. Because some people might have sensitivities to peanuts or tree nuts, so that way you have a lot of different choices. So that's the last one. The last, I think there's two more ingredients left. So the next one is one half teaspoon of sea salt. So I'm gonna mm. just shake a little bit in here. This is Trader Joe's pink Himalayan sea salt. So you get a, a lot of extra minerals with that instead of just your typical um, Morton salt, for example. And the last ingredient is four tablespoons of coffee. Coffee. And if you don't like coffee, I, I put it in parentheses. Coffee. Oh, I love coffee too. You can substitute it for almond milk because not everybody loves coffee. Mm -hmm. But it, but honestly, the coffee makes it taste really good. So there you go. Is it mixed? Or is that the um, incense? This? This is coffee. I just poured it in a little container. Just because I made some coffee yesterday, so I just poured a little oh. bit in here. And just so I had all the ingredients prepared in advance. So that's the last ingredient. Oh, Super simple. So, so all you need to do is just mix no, everything together. The person is watching now. Yay! Yay, people! Thank you for recording this. So you just mix everything up. So then everything is all mixed together. This might take a minute. Hopefully I can get it all in. There we go. Here, maybe you should get in here so then they can see mm. what I'm doing. Just so everything is, so there's no more dry flour or anything. So you just mix everything together. Got to get that, get all the powder in there. Yeah. So it looks like, like chocolate. Oh goodness. 
Yeah, I know. This is really good for people who have who have sweet tooth. I, I love chocolate, and this is a great way to have chocolate without feeling that extra heaviness. So did you, you bake that? No. No, no. no, no bake. Oh. No, nope, this is no bake. Just only mixing? Mm -hmm. Yep. That's why I did this, because it's so I simple. You can have it. That's why I did this at the last minute, because you can have this within like 10 minutes. And I actually made this for a conference that I was in a couple weeks ago, and they all love it. So I Mary Jane it. Walls is watching. Who's watching? Mary Jane Walls. Hello. Thank you for watching, Mary. Yay. Yeah, so the, the last thing you do is, here's a little bit, grab like a, let's say this is a tablespoon, just roll it up. Then you just roll it in the extra cacao powder, so I have a little container here. Just roll it up. Yay. And then you just put them in the bowl. So, so um, you can let them sit in the fridge to set a little bit longer, so it's not as sticky and clumpy afterwards. But for the time being, it's totally fine. So just you just roll them all up. You have you have all these, and then and then later you'll, this will make probably between eighteen and twenty energy balls. I'll just roll them up later because this is going to get my hands all chocolatey. <laughs> it's finger looking good. That's how good it is. I could just sit here. <laughs> yeah, if you if you want any more recipes like this, feel free to contact me. I would love to cook a meal from scratch for you in the showroom. So this is just a little taste of what I do here. And if you work with me, I will give you a free meal here in the showroom. Whatever you want from scratch, start to finish. Um, I also offer 6 and 12 week coaching programs, so if you're looking to find more meals that work for you, then I'm the right person for you because that way you get to feel 